hello everyone and welcome back so here we need to work on the debt schedule so this is where we will uh, look at um, uh, the interest expenses total interest expenses total issuances and retirements we will also compute the interest income here so without wasting time let's dive right into it so this is where you analyze the debts that the company has right and you analyze if the company has been issuing new debts or retiring new debt uh, if the company has got mandatory issuances or retirements non-mandatory issuances and retirements something like that so right now so here we need to here we've got the this section here so we want to see if it is sustainable for the company to raise debt so first of all you take the beginning cash balance you add the cash flow before debt pay down and you list the minimum cash cushion such that you have cash available to pay down debt and that will help you to see if the company is in the financial standing to be able to raise and repay or retire debt so here let's just link that so here we are in 2023 so we have to come to uh 2022 and we link the cash balance there for 2022 so we are saying the end of year cash balance for 2022 be, uh, becomes the beginning balance be, becomes the beginning cash balance for 2023 so let's just find go to the balance sheet and find that cash balance so this is the cash cash and cash equivalence balance there right so we come here on top here uh, cash and cash equivalence beginning balance for 2023 and then we link we link this one now we link this one and and we copy that to the right like that and right so here oh what we need to do right now is we need to go back to the cash flow statement and compute cash flow before date pay down so essentially what we are doing is we are adding cash from operating activities from investing and we add equity issuance and then we don't add everything to do with debt then we copy that to the right like this and then we come back to our debt schedule and then we link that in 2023 we link we link cash flow before debt paid down so which is this one and we copy that to the right so let me just take a look once more yeah this is it so perfect and now we are in the debt schedule and let's just say maybe a minimum of 1000 uh, that's cash cushion right so we've had coded that we need to turn that into blue right so right so this minimum cushion we are saying this is the amount of money that the company will need for day to day for working capital purposes you know something like that and then here we just sum this up so we sum this up and we copy to the right and we come back here on this one so here what we need to do is we add this uh, the cash balance beginning for 2023 we also add cash flow before debt paid down and we add total issuances like this and then we right so one trick to see if what you've done is correct this figure here 18 eight, nine, seven, three, nine, it is to balance with the cash balance in with the end of year cash balance in 2027 in 2027 so let's just check 89739 let's go to the balance sheet and find that So this is right 89739 so it balances so right so let's come back here again so this is good and let's proceed here so here we need to find the 
we need to find the here the short term debt end of year balance so i think i've put this one on the wrong so let me just remove that one so year 2022 mm -hmm. short term debt balance end of year balance so let me just go to the balance sheet and link that so short term debt which is this one right and then on short term beginning balance debt balance i'll also link this one up and here these are still zeros so i have to turn them into blue right so here i have to sum this up so I'll sum this up here like this and then i'll copy this one to the right and also copy this one and I also copy these ones as well to the right and here right so here I will put a top border line here and here I will compute the short term interest expense so I'll use the average the average formula so I'll take the average of this and the average of this and then I'll multiply that by this one to get this one so here these are hard coded percentages let me turn them into blue so we now have got our short term interest and then we do the same for let me just so this is 2022 end of year debt balance so let me link that long term debt balance and i come here and i link this right and i link that here as well and here i sum i use the sum function to add this and then i copy the formula to the right and then i put some zeros here these are hard-coded numbers we don't have any issuances and then I copy that to the right, just like that. And I copy the formula to the right. So here, let me just change this into blue. So then here, I'm going to use the average. So I'll take this, and I'll also take this, and I'll multiply by 10, and then I'll copy this through. So here I'll add the total issuances. So here I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. So I'll copy that to the right. There's none. And then here I'll total all the interest expenses. Then here. And I'll also add this one. And then I'll copy this to the right. So this is it. And I'll also do the same on this one. So I'll use the average. So the average, I'll take this one. And I'll also use this cash balance here. And I'll multiply by this right here like this and then i'll change these ones i'll change this into into blue right so basically this is it so we have got a working date schedule so in the next section we are going to link this into the income statement and the cash flow statement as well as the balance sheet uh, as well, as so we are also going to link into the we are only going to link into the income and cash flow statement so see you in the next section